What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Hustle with Jesse W. And today we're gonna go over a day trading recap. Check it out. Well, guys, today um, I started off the day red. Wasn't too happy about that at all, but that's how I started off the day. I started off the day red. I climbed myself out of it with one trade, but I really, really missed the boat here uh, in a huge way on Tesla short. <clears throat> I'm <just> like, <laughs> I'm pretty, pretty like upset about it because the uh, setup was there. The setup was there. We had this, you know, drop underneath VWAP here. We jumped back up, tested it, and then failed. And I really wanted to get short there, but I had some trust issues with it because Tesla has earnings in about six or seven days. And typically stocks like this, especially called stocks, they're going to run up into earnings. And the only reason I believe Tesla gapped down today was because we had a gap down uh, on the SPY, you know, on the overall markets, uh, just due to stimulus issues, you know, uh, you know, that there probably won't be any stimulus uh, that'll be secured prior to the election. So uh, that's why the, the, the market really started to gap down. So then it was hard for me to short Tesla because I expected at least a little bounce out of the market because such a big gap down. And then it's hard to, to short Tesla because if you look at the daily, we've broken out yesterday out of this downtrend resistance line with an increase in volume. So I'll, honestly, you know, like I said yesterday, I expected Tesla to start making a move up to 480. Uh, maybe 500, at least 480. Uh, and then today, you know, we're getting this gap down and then just really choppy action. So it was really difficult to jump in short here, but the setup was there. The setup really was there. Even here, I could have jumped in short, which is when it first attracted me to it. Um, I was looking for it for, you know, for a bounce up to try to fill the gap, you know, because the the, the spy bounced real nice. Show you the day, the three minute chart here, right out the bell, boom, you know, we had a real nice bounce off uh on the spy so it made for real difficult trading for me this morning and uh my first two trades were red trades and it was just me second guessing my setup and uh getting ahead of myself honestly so uh they're just red but we'll go over those and then we're going to go over the live trades recorded and I'll show you my 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 PL here on the day. It's a green day, but not by much. I mean, I don't even think it's gas money to be honest. But nonetheless, it's a green day. And uh we're gonna go ahead and chalk it up as a win because any day that you're green or break even is a good day in my book, especially when market conditions start to get a little shifty on you. So uh without any further delay, let's go ahead and jump into this. The first the first thing for me today I was looking for was out of Tesla, a 450 test. Looking for a 450 test for a bounce. And we got it right out of the gates. The bell rang, we tapped 450, and we bounced, and we went straight up here to uh, 456 and a half. So that would have been a real nice five point, you know, 4.5 point win there. But the reality is, you know, I don't trade the bell, so I had to just watch it, you know, do it. I would have preferred it to have you know, tested that 450, bounced, maybe found some resistance here at VWAP, and then giving me like a double bottom and then a breakthrough VWAP with some volume, that would have been the setup. But it didn't do that. It just started to flag right here, as you see. And I got in that flag because the volume on the hold of 450 was was good, was strong. So I expected this 452 to hold, and it did, but eh, I just got shaken out of it. And... uh Took a couple small losses, but they added up. They added up, and I was down like I think like two hundred bucks or so on the day. So I was like, oh, not too happy right now. Took a third trade, but risk management is always superb and the ideal thing. So because the third trade was managed as well as the first two trades were, even though I think I got shook out of the second one a little bit too early, I was able to put you know, everything, all the losses behind me and go green on the day. And I, what I did was I caught this bounce here and this push up here uh, to test and break through the previous high. So that was the trade I took. And uh, we're going to go ahead and bring that up. I believe 
I have it recorded here. I think I only got that one recorded, but I'm going to check. Now, before we move any further, do me a quick favor. Smash the like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And make sure to hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I upload the video. Remember, when you smash the like button, you help out the channel tremendously because you feed the YouTube algorithm. And that sucker needs to be fed. So hit that like button for me. It goes a long way. And let's grab this live trade, I believe. It should be this. Well, well that's... Huge. Okay. Give me one second here, guys, as I make this into a more manageable easier. There we go. <laughs> okay. So yeah, see here I was in and I was in hundred shares, just a starter, 453.44 cost basis. Uh and the reality was my stop was I thought, I thought it was 453, but I think it was just too tight. It should have been 452. I don't know what I was thinking there. Uh, and I should have started to add if we broke out of that, you know, down resistance. You know, they were flagging there. We were inside the flag on decreasing volume. So it had all the right uh, ingredients for a quick pop. But there I stopped out of it. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know what I was thinking there. Uh, then I get back into it, I believe, here. And I think this is the one where we go. No, this looks like I stop out of this one too. Yeah, see? Right there. Boom, stop out. Like, just bad. My, I was holding my stop way too tight. And I think I was just afraid of a nasty flush down to 450. Uh, but that was silly on my part. It was very, very silly trading on my part. Uh, so then I kind of like, you know, get myself together. Get myself together finally. And here, let me make this a little bit bigger so you can see this. A little bit better and that should do it right you can see everything there volume okay perfect you see the volume bars you can see candles you can see the position box so i'm back in this at 454 14 okay and now i'm looking for this test of high at day uh i do add to it uh 200 shares so a total 200 shares there boom now my cost basis is 454.26 and uh, i'm looking for that push straight two to the highs but I want to see this volume increase. I want to see this volume bar like get over here, like 600,000 shares. I want to see that happen. It's a three-minute trade here, so we'll fast forward it a tad. There we go. Okay, so see the volume bar is increasing. I'm like, okay, this is exactly what I want to see. We're breaking out of the flag. I want to see this volume continue to increase. And I want to see this hold 454 and go so we can at least test this 90 MA, which is in front of the, 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 the high of day. And I expect this to be a potential resistance zone. So I'm probably just going to get flat right there. That's my that's my plan. So I was risking about a buck to make, you know, three bucks a share, um, uh, three bucks, two bucks a share. So it was like a one or two risk reward on this one, one to two and a half risk reward on this one. Uh, right, because we could have gotten up to here to the 157, uh, 457s. So here I'm like concerned that the volume isn't coming in. I want to see this volume bar now be bigger than this one. I, continuous increase in volume so that we can get that pop to the highs. So I sold out of one, one block. So I sold out of 100 shares right there because I was just concerned about the volume. I was just concerned about the volume. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to sell 100 shares here, get rid of those 100. You know, it's going to be some profit anyways. Uh, so I'll take care of that. So boom, those are gone. And now I want to see this area hold and the volume increase so that I can get a nice take profit on the last 100 shares at least. And I do decide to get a little greedy on those. Instead of taking them off uh, immediately upon the new high, I hold on a little bit. See right there, I could have taken them off. We're going off at 456.57 and I'm in at 454.37. So I'm up over $2 a share on those. But I saw the volume was looking like it was going to start to increase. We could have easily seen Tesla just bang straight up here to 460s, right? So I get a little greedy and I hold on to it a little bit too much. I take them off uh, pretty soon here. I take them off right there. Just take them off because I was like, okay, I'm not going to be too greedy. I should have just had my limit order out there on the ask and gotten filled on it. It was still a good trade. And uh, immediately after that move right there, we failed. So bailed before the fail. And we've come all the way down here to make new lows. You'll see here, I still made 157 bucks on those last uh, few shares I sold. 66 on the first. And I had lost, you know, 100 and, uh, 177 
Right? So basically 200 bucks earlier in the day. So I'm only up $11 in the day, guys. But you know what? It's a green day. So the, the trading was there. My first two trades basically fumbles. Uh, my last trade was well, well executed. Um, I, and because of, like I said, uh, everything I said at the start of the video, I just couldn't convince myself to get short in here or in here. And obviously it was a mistake not getting short because it's easy to borrow right now. So uh, I could have just gotten short there and banked out a real nice payday just like yesterday. But like I said, it was difficult to convince myself. And because I couldn't convince myself of it, there was no position. And as you see here, these are just the trades on the day. And, uh, you know, today's change. So whatever. Uh, tomorrow's another day. And uh, I'll still be monitoring everything throughout the rest of the day. But it's probably it for me today as far as trading goes. And uh, we'll see tomorrow what tomorrow might hold. But I will still be watching. If I take a trade, I'll tweet it out. Let me know how you did. Drop it in the comment section below. Remember to subscribe to the channel for me. Hit the notification bell so you're alerted when I upload my next video. Smash the like button for me and I'll catch you on the next one.